I'm Sean from Shooty School. Check out shootyschool.com for full courses and hundreds of free videos just like this one. Today is my episode one in my new Easy Mix 3 video series. Before we start, you should know I already did a video on installing and upgrading from Easy Mix 1 or Easy Mix 2 and all the trials, tribulations that come with that to make it as smooth of an experience as possible. So the link to that video is down in the description. But here, episode one of my Easy Mix series, we're going to discuss the splash page when you launch Easy Mix 3, which is basically a quick start guide for templates. Not only are we going to discuss the details of that because it really does speed up the workflow, but we're going to look from a bird's eye view at all of the content that Easy Mix 3 has to offer so we can really get a foundation under our feet. So next time you open up Easy Mix 3, you can work smarter and faster knowing everything that's available to you. Let's get started. The quick start splash screen is super handy. It automates selecting filters manually and it really speeds up your workflow. And the majority of this video is about demystifying it so you can better navigate Easy Mix 3. Now, Easy Mix 3 is basically a large collection of audio processing presets, whether it's for an instrument, whether it's for your voice, whether you want to do some mastering on your master fader, or maybe you want to treat a group of channels on a bus. But that's not all it does, which is what the quick start splash screen kind of implies. So let's get into it real quick. Here's the quick start screen. I'm going to close this. We're not going to use it yet. And I'm just going to show you a real typical workflow of selecting filters manually. I'm on the filters tab. And let's say I'm writing a country song. And I want to beef up my whole mix with a mastering preset. And over in this right column, there used to be over 900 presets in that column. Now there's just two. So I selected two filters and it sorted my master collection of presets. And now I have two to try out before I redefine my filters. Now let me show you how to get that quick start splash screen back. This is the only way I know how to do it. Let's go to the file menu and select new. And now we have our quick start splash screen back. This splash screen is like a two tier menu system. So let's start with guitar real quick. I'll select guitar. And here's that second tier to select from. We have electric guitar or acoustic guitar. Now the electric guitar has 183 presets to it. And the acoustic guitar has 13. So let's select electric. Notice we're not on the filters tab anymore. We're on the similarity map, which we'll talk about in the future. More importantly, underneath these tab names, we have this horizontal string of what's called filter chips. These are filter chips. The ones that are darker are actually not activated yet. The guitar electric or the electric guitar one is activated. So if we go over here to the right column where all of our presets from Easy Mix 3 were, the guitar electric filter has been applied. And so instead of 900 plus presets, now we have 183. All of these will work for electric guitar. If we go to file, new, and select acoustic instead, now we have two chips activated. One's for the generic term guitars and the other one's for acoustic guitar. And that just took our 900 and something presets down to 13. So between electric and acoustic, we actually have 196 presets total. Now, before we move on, I just want to get into the details so you understand a little bit better. If we don't use the quick start, I'll select an empty project, which basically means a blank slate without the quick start splash screen. Okay. Here's just easy mix waiting for us to use it. I'll go into the filters tab. If I generically select only the guitars tab, now we have those 196 presets right here. And as we select more filters like acoustic or electric, we will refine those searches just like that quick start splash screen did. Let me load up a bunch of effect slots, which is something we're going to cover in more detail in the future, but I'll just select this effect. I want a new slot to select this effect. I'm basically creating a whole signal chain of random effects. And then I might adjust them to my taste. So it's really my custom 
project a particular sound. Now, if I want that splash screen back and I go to File, New, I'm going to lose all of this work. If you go to File, Open Recent, or Open, it will prompt you, do you want to save this? But if you select File, New, it will not prompt you to save and you'll lose that work. And if that's the case and your wits are about you, you want to save this project, save it as, or maybe save a user preset, which we'll get in the future as well. But I just want you to know when we go to File, New, and we select something, all of this work will instantly be gone. So beware of that, okay? Now we have our quick start splash screen back, and let's go over to Bass. We have Bass Amplifiers, which there's 26 of them. We have Mix Tools, which there's 33 Mix Tools presets. This is anywhere from creative to dynamic effects, reverb, chorus, compression, all that. And then we have All Bass Presets, which is these two combined equaling 59 presets. Let me not select anything real quick. Let me go to an empty project instead. And if we're on the Filters tab and we simply select Bass, that's brass bass right here. Here's all 59 of those presets. They're all accounted for from the splash screen. Get that splash screen back. Now, here's one cool note. If you select either guitar preset, electric or acoustic, or you select the bass amp preset, you will always have a instrument pre-EQ in your first effects slot ready to be activated. And when you activate it and click on it, it will analyze your signal. And we're going to cover that a lot more in the future, but that's bass. Let's select drums from the quick start splash screen. And now we have six different categories to choose from. This is 206 presets total, 38 kick, 28 snare, 20 tom, 21 hi-hat, 17 percussion, and 81 full kit presets, 206 total. So if I go to an empty project instead and select filters, and I go under instrument group and select drums, now this is just 188 presets of the 206 that we saw earlier. This is only the majority of them. If you also select the percussion filter, if you want to select more than one filter at a time on the filters tab, you hold shift and select the percussion filter. Now I have drums and percussion. You can see their chips up here. Now I have the full 206 drum presets that the quick start splash screen has to offer. Let's select keys. And we have piano, which has 18 presets, synth, which has 27 presets, all keys presets actually has 61 presets. So we have 18 plus 27 equals 45. So the all keys presets is not just the combination of piano and synth. There's something else there. That's a higher number. So let's go over to an empty project and investigate. The reason why I want to get into such detail is so you don't think every single preset tab on that quick start splash screen does the exact same thing or accesses the same amount and works in the same way. So under instrument, if I select piano, there's 18. I'm going to hold shift and find synth, which is down here. Now there's those 45 from the first two options on the splash screen. But if we also select piano electric, meaning electric piano, and organ. Now we have the total of 61 presets. So it's just interesting how some of those other splash screen contents, main options, you know, give you everything they got. Yet when you get over to keys, it doesn't. So I just want to make sure you know these little details and know to select organ and electric piano if you want to access all 61 presets. Let's select vocals. I have 104 lead vocal presets here. I have seven backing vocal presets here. 104 plus seven equals 111 all vocal presets. Let me do an empty project. Just visually show you where to get them. If you go into the instrument and you scroll all the way down, alphabetical order, here's that seven backing vocal presets and here's your 104 vocal presets. Again, just kind of 
going through the motions visually for you to help you navigate Easy Mix better when that splash screen isn't right in front of you. Let's select Mastering. Auto Mastering is the new fantastic AI-assisted mastering presets that analyze your audio and suggest particular settings in the preset that you chose. All mastering presets is all of the auto mastering plus all the non-auto mastering presets combined. So there's 25 of these and there's 66 of these. So let's do an empty project and see how we can find them. This time we go under type and you select master and here's that 66 all presets, all master presets here. And then underneath this, there's a little segregation. There's a little line right there. In this little menu, you don't have to shift click to select multiple filters. Uh, you can just left click on AI assisted and it will filter from those 66, the 25 AI assisted master plugins. So this is probably where a lot of people are gonna spend their time. I can't wait to get into it myself. So we're on a completely fresh blank project right now. And Easy Mix 3's core pack has 954 presets. They're all over here in the preset list right now. Here's a point to make to you. If I go to File New to get our Quick Start Splash Screen back, this splash screen only lets us get access to 671 of those 954 presets. So it's just a little bit limiting. I'm still going to use the splash screen 99 point whatever percent of the time, but I need to acknowledge that it will not give us every single preset that Easy Mix 3 has to offer. So how do we find those other 300, almost 300 presets? Let me close this. We're in a blank project. All you do is look for filters that had nothing to do with all those splash screen preset selections. For example, um, here's brass, here's bassoon, here's cello. Here's clarinet and so on and so forth. So that almost 300 other presets that the quick start splash screen does not give you access to is in there. You can find them pretty fast if you just think about what the splash screen did not include. Mostly uh, wind and brass at this moment, but take a look. There's even sound effects down here, for example, saxophone, so on and so forth. Acknowledge that. I love the splash screen. I'm always going to use it, but just know it doesn't have 100% of the content Easy Mix 3 has to offer. Now, if you want to recall an Easy Mix project that you recently made, you can select recent projects. As we can see, here's a bunch of projects. Here's the ones that I was using to make this video tutorial for you. I don't really need them, but I was making them as a safety net in case I needed to backtrack, right? Which is also maybe a good idea if you're on a mission critical job with audio, you might want to do the same thing. Good safety net, right? Other than that, there's favorites and user presets under my presets. You know, favorites, if you have a tune track preset you always use, you might have favorited it in Easy Mix 3. It's a fast way to get them. Or if you've taken a preset and manipulated it to suit you, specifically a custom preset, you save it as a user preset and you can get to those quickly there. All these three things we will cover in great detail in the near future. Join me in my next Easy Mix 3 video where we're going to take this program to its limits so you know everything about it and you can get the most bang for your buck. I'm Sean from Shooty School. Check out shootyschool.com for complete courses and hundreds of free videos just like this one. If you want to support me, subscribe, like, more importantly, comment below or go to shootyschool.com and consider donating. I'll see you on the next one.